What's going on, everybody? So, pretty good month on Com C. Uh, these, some of the stuff you see has been sold already uh, since the first. Meant to get this out a little bit earlier, and be honest, it just kept on slipping my mind with a lot of things going on. Uh, Com C for the month, pretty good overall. We're going to talk about, we're dropping a box off at the Midwest Monster, how that went compared to other submissions being set in the mail, yada, yada, yada. And away we go with the Com C stuff for the month. All right. So, let's talk about, we have total sales since we started pretty much end of December, a little over 5,200. Uh, almost 2,700 items are now listed, sold a little over 1,700, purchased 38. And this is kind of the interesting thing. I'm going to click as you guys get to see it all. So, this was the batch here, the top one I did, the Midwest Monster. It took about two weeks for them to enter it in the system due to the fact that they said they're backlogged. And I guess they had to wait to get a shipping container, ship it, all the fun stuff. There's only 42 cards left in. It's a little bit lower than that because they just had a couple pop here recently and it hasn't updated. But those were at $0.35 cents a card basically with their um, summer savings deal. So we're doing really good on selling that stuff right now. But if you take a look, this stuff here was out to them earlier and nothing. not Nothing at all moving on to it. So maybe dropping off at the shows does have its privilege. I don't know. We'll find out, see how this keeps on going. But they have crossed off a lot of our stuff that we've been mailing in. And let me head back. We will go to seller stats for the month. There's the month of June. Only a little over $900, almost nine and a quarter. 295 items sold. A lot of it was just due to, you know, not having stuff to be able to send off to them. And when I did, you know, I was bulking up the boxes onto it. Believe it or not, it's really hard to find, you know, big deals of lo very cheap stuff you could use for Com C or buying collections out because a lot of the collections people think are worth a lot more than they are. And you have to try to bring that up. Hopefully they, they understand it. If they don't, hey, you know, move on to the next one type deal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad overall. Still over $900, uh, almost nine and a quarter sold, 295 items. It was just over 10% of that number. So I think it was 32. I had the sticky here and I think I probably threw it away. It should have either been 32 or 33 of these items were actually sold on eBay. So just over 10% this month of my transactions on Com C was done through them selling it on to eBay. Uh, nothing really big was sold. Again, this is a lot of stuff that ranges anywhere from 50 cents because I've had to drop prices down eventually on this stuff to, I would say, average... Oh, that's probably about what, a little over three dollars an average a card being sold. But I would probably say a lot of this stuff. Well, we'll just go with the average, a little over three dollars a card. Not much, probably like three dollars and four or five cents type deal. But overall, like I said, I'm really happy with it because it moves inventory. I don't have to stock it up, take all the pictures for eBay, and do all that other stuff onto it. Uh, I'll show you the four cards I did buy during June. Yeah, only four, huh? Told you I'd been busy. Card shows. Said I'd get my mom's house prep, come back. Had been fooling around with other stuff. It's been a fun month. This is the first card I bought. It was a Magic Johnson Auto. And you guys will see it eventually whenever I do get them shipped in. I believe this was numbered out 25. Can't remember. But it was a pretty good deal. I got it for, I think it was $110. They've been selling around $150 onto at that time. I know, CP3, got it. A lot of people don't like them. But a 9510 in this card, pretty good. Remember these old, uh, being out of 1,299 autographs of Chris Paul from his rookie year. Crazy, huh? The only difference is it'd be a lot lower if we added the 50 variations to it, right? But pretty cool card. I like these from back in the day. Not saying he's going to be like, you know, super stud famous and stuff like that there. Probably be a Hall of Famer eventually one day. I believe he just went to go link up. Was it with Luca Magic? I think it was Luca. 
Can't remember now. I know he got he went somewhere else now. It's not dawned on me. We just talked about this earlier this week too. Picked this up, I think I for like seventy, eighty dollars. Out of fifty, this is I think thirteen fourteen if I remember IMAC. All game use, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Paul George, George Hill. Wow, what a contract for Paul George, right? Craziness. These go for around 120 to 130 normally out there that I've seen. It all depends on conditioning and stuff. And this looked pretty good. You can see it didn't have a whole chipping thing there. That's their mat with a lot of the fuzz. And then I picked this up. So as I said, as I get a new Crosby, I sold one. <laughs> out of 25 National Treasures, this is the Art Ross Trophy one. I love this card. I tried to... Pull this back in a day, couldn't do it. Came up for sale, had to have it. So I did. Well, I went to a point with my Crosby autos that if I buy something new that I really like, I have to get rid of one. That way I don't hoard them because otherwise I'd probably sit at like two, three hundred Crosby autos, which is a lot. But those are the four cards I did pick up in a month. Let me see if there's anything else. I w sorry, I have the hiccups here. Um, really want to talk about. Sell stats, we hit all that. The box piece onto it, cards purchased. Uh, think that is about it to wrap up Com C for the month. I just let it stack up. There is a couple cards. I do want to show you one thing. I, I don't mind if I show you what's on my watch list. I watch a lot of cards. This is one of the big ones I want to get a second of. I picked one of these up a while back. These are really cool. The 16-bit Allure Sidney Crosby PSA 10s. I want to get a second one. That way, eventually, one day when they go crazy, I'll, you know, probably like 20 years. And I'm, uh, I was living in Vegas and wanting to go play bingo. I have plenty of bingo money. I just think they're really cool. Something different. Where is the card? Like I said, lots on the watch list. This is one that's really good, but it's not the one I was talking about. Where are you hiding at? I do apologize if you hear the pug snoring. She's like, dude, we need to go to bed. You're tired. You're picking on me. I can't believe I can't find it. It's a Ronaldo autograph. It's a dual autograph of him and Jal Felix. Nope. Well, I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time now because I'm sitting here scrolling through. That's that Suk hockey. Wait, maybe it's in my cart because I keep stuff all over the place on here. Yep, here it is. This is the card I'm really looking at getting a Ronaldo auto. It's all on sticker. Even though it has Jal Felix, but something cool. Um, he has a list at twelve fifty. I just keep an eye on to it all the time to see if he promotes a sale. But that's probably gonna be my next pickup on here. There's some really cool stuff on here. You guys might like this here. Look at that old Troy Aikman UCLA one one laundry tag thing. He definitely not even close to nineteen hundred. This is pretty cool, Dan Marino. Uh, Top Supreme 101 Letterman patch type deal. Definitely not $1,100. <laughs> That's why I said you got to be careful on a lot of this stuff on here. Always look at to see what you see the perceived value on, not what's on here. Because, boy, you could really get hammered. There was one more card I want to show you guys. It's pretty cool. I think it was in here, though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I might have lied to you all. Let me just look. It might be in my watch list. This is kind of cool. It's on here. Lindor, Bat Knob, and Bat Pieces. 1100 is kind of reasonable. I would think with a Bat Knob somewhere around seven, 800 probably value, but that's not the card. I'll know it when I see it here. I think it's really far down, but I don't want to miss it. 
It's an example here it is, of me thinking outside the box. Lucille Ball autograph from Upper Deck Premiere. Now these are out of 16. That's just, I'm not, I probably won't buy this on here because there's a lot more whiting and chipping on to it. But it's something I think I'm going to look for uh, eventually. And hopefully one pops up in a lot better condition on Just something different out of the box type deal onto it. Oh, check this out. They posted it again. The Jordan. I have the LeBron like this. He's loaded to 12-2 now. Huh. Kind of crazy. Uh, there's one that actually sold. It was graded by Beckett for 14-2, I believe it was. 14-2 or 14-3. I'd have to go back and reference the video. But okay, I won't keep boring you guys with my watch list and stuff like that here. Uh, just some little bit different things, like I said, overall onto it. Uh, things I bought. Where we're at current stats. How last month went compared to other ones. Yeah, it's a little bit less each month. But you just have to have the inventory, which has really been, a, you know, a, the hard part. I mean, like, here's an example. Like, Billy Butler, 2005 Tops Gold. I made $1.42 onto it. We'll just say average is 50 cents, right? I can't go to a dollar bin and buy that for a dollar. I got to get them in collections to where I'm buying this stuff at, like, 10 to 15 cents a card or pennies on a dollar or, or pesos on the penny type deal to actually make real good profit. Um, some of this stuff I'm just looking at might have came out of anything at all. You know, I mean, stuff like this here would just sit in a box that I had. Basically, I made six cents onto it. It's, like I said, it's not all about huge gains. I look at what overall what happens at the end. But all right, guys, appreciate you watching me fumble around on Com C and play and show and tell with my watch list and stuff. But. As always, if you guys have questions or you have a Com C account, share, talk about your stories, see what's going on. You know, I think that overall this is a really good thing to have because otherwise I would have had to do, oh boy, that's 43, over 4,400 items to be sold on eBay. And it saves me with having to do all that work. And when they're only charging 5% commission, I don't do cash outs. I buy cards with the money. That way I'm not really losing anything in the long run. I can sell those cards and not have to worry about 10% penalties every time I turn around. Because if I would take the money out 10% wise, you guys see where I'm going at. Just less and less and less. But alright guys, that is it. I promise I am out. I will catch you guys next video.